So these batteries are connected in series. So this is the negative, positive, negative, uh, positive, negative, positive. So the battery is connected. The battery are, are connected in series. So we are having the actual voltage here. But no current. See that? So what that means is that one of these batteries that have been connected in series has a problem. So in order to find out which of the battery is dead, then we have to do we have to test each of the cells to see which one is faulty. So let's check this, let's check the first cell, let's check the first battery. So this is the negative. It's on approach negative. Then we check. You can see there we have 3.6 volts. So we want to test the second one. This is the negative, and here is the positive. So we change our code. We check negative here. Negative here. So you see that this particular battery is dead. So let's check the third one. This is the negative, and here is the positive. So we can just check it from this point. You see, we have 3.9. Then let's check this one. This is the negative, and this is the positive. So we have 3.9 as well. Let's check the last one. This is the positive, and this is the negative. Okay. So I want to try something. This this battery is not functioning. So that might that could be caused by overcharging. But what actually happened to this battery was that I I had actually used it and it was low, and I, I kept it for some time without charging it. So when I, I, need, I wanted to charge it, it was no longer charging and things were not working the way it should. So this battery is faulty. But I want to do one simple trick that I do to check if it will work in order for me not to start losing all these things. So let me try that. If I try it and it doesn't work, then I need to pull out the BMS, pull out the battery and bring it out, then change it. Okay. The problem with that particular cell was uh, internal switch that lithium battery do have. So I don't know what happened and the switch is engaged. So I decided to check that first before thinking of replacing the battery. So as you can see now, it's charging. So and that particular battery is getting charging charge up. So you can see battery is receiving charge and it's, it's going up so before you think about replacing your battery it's good to check because most of the times these batteries are still functional but maybe one of it the switch is disengaged so you re-engage the switch by using a sharp object like this and put it in, in the positive side trying to press it downward to release the gas and after that the battery should be okay so for now my drilling machine battery is, is okay you can see it was one one percent so now it has charged up very fast so let me remove it from the charging system to see how many still got so far okay we got like two indicators should be three so as it keeps on charging it keeps on charging it keeps on charging okay so that's how to fix your drilling press battery. I got two of these, 
this one is still working as you can see still working so, uh, this one is fully charged this one is fully charged so that's how to fix it so if you, if you like content like this and you want to support me to help my channel grow you can do well by subscribing to this channel and also clicking the bell notification so that when i drop a new video youtube will re recommend it for you